You have entered the prep zone. Tonight, girls soccer, the second round. They call it the regional. It's division one soccer. The winner advances, the loser goes home. There's 16 teams left. You've got the eight seed, Mandeville at home, versus the nine seed, Baton Rouge High, have come. The Lady Bulldogs have come to take on the Lady Skippers. Both teams with veteran leadership. Baton Rouge, Rachel Bourgeois in the net. Over on the Mandeville side, Delaney Sheehan, big time goal scorer, 200 in her career. That's about 25 a year, if you can add that up. So it's a big matchup, eight versus nine. Division one playoffs, regional round. Pre-game with Coach Sean Esker. Coach, eight versus nine in, in this round. It really means nothing, does it? No, you know, playoffs, everybody's even going into every match. So regardless of where you're seated, you just got to put your best 80 minutes out on the field, and hopefully we can do that tonight. Uh, what do you think are going to be the keys for you all to get a victory? Uh, I think our key is to establish uh, some tempo, some pace early, and hopefully uh, get a lead and make them have to play from behind, which can open some things up more for us. So I think the first half is uh, particularly important for us tonight. Talk a little bit about first uh, Carly Allison and Go, what she's been doing for you. Uh, Carly's been able to do really well. She's a senior, and she's certainly stepped up and been able to uh, give us some stability back there, and uh, we have uh, good confidence that she'll keep it up tonight. Uh, Delaney Sheehan, uh, gaudy numbers, 55 goals this year, 200 in her career. Um, you're going to miss her, when, obviously, when she's gone, hopefully you know, not anytime soon. Talk a little bit about what she brings to the table. Uh, Delaney, you know, brings obviously brings an awful lot to the table, and not just in terms of goal scoring ability. She creates some good chances for others. She's a, a good leader on the field. Uh, one of our better defenders, too. So, I mean, she's just an all around player. She's like having a coach on the field. Free game with Coach Sheila Ashe. First time we're going to get to see your team. Uh, give us a rundown on how your season's gone. Um, it's gone really well. Uh, had some veterans really carry defensively and in the midfield and some great freshmen come up and work real hard to add to our to our mix so it's been a it's been a good season for us so speaking of veterans uh you have rachel bourgeois in goal senior she's going to play ball at lsu shreveport talk a little bit about what she's done for your team um she has done a great job directing the traffic and really come up big with some big big saves when we needed them um she's just real solid and very, very steady, and that's helped us. Um, she's had 18 shutouts, so it's been pretty pretty steady for us as far as her holding down the anchor back there. Your leading score, 31 goals, Presedo, and 11 assists. As a freshman, not too shabby, huh? Um, she's done a great job. She's come in and added a lot of offensive punch for us. Um, she's a workhorse. She works throughout the forward line, offensively and defensively, even steps back a little bit into the midfield to help out. and. She's just real steady, very composed in front of the goal. Uh, seating wise, a matchup eight versus nine could go either way. What is your team going to need to do to get a victory tonight? Um, we're going to have to contain Delaney, um, really not give her very many looks at the goal, um, try to pretty much keep them from attacking through her and keep their defense pressed back up in, the de in their defensive third and take care of her shots when we get the opportunity. It's division one. A regional matchup, eight versus nine, and Baton Rouge High kicks off. Presedo, number 14, talked about her. Natalie Presedo talked about her pregame. 30, 31 goals, 11 assists this year for the Lady Bulldogs. So she will be their offensive threat. Lady Skippers. That one turned back by Janie Ledford, but, but the Sk Lady Skippers get it back again. Ball in the middle, a battle, and this one's going to come out of the, the box. Benton, and that one's back to Benton. A little back and forth. Too much on that one for Dubrock, and there's Presedo. Taken off of that one, but coming up the right sideline is Ledford. That one played off by Scallon is going to go out of bounds and end up being a goal kick. Ledford, Janie Ledford coming up the right sideline, appeared to be in great position for a breakaway. Good defense by Rachel Scallon. 
Carly Allison will take the goal kick for the Lady Skippers. And that one's going to go out of bounds as Missy Ross chipped it off the defender. Throw in to Hannah Benton. Dubrock stolen, and then Dubrock steals it back, and then it's stolen back again. Ledford up the sideline for Kennedy Smith, and that's going to go off of Mandeville out of bounds. In the pregame, you heard Coach Esker talking about controlling the tempo early, and Baton Rouge, the Lady Bulldogs, have it down in scoring vicinity here. Ledford does not catch that one right off of her foot. It goes out of bounds. I know in a game like this, you got to make the best of every opportunity you have down there. Daigle, then Simpson into the middle. That's going out on the left side. Bourgeois trying to run it down. Good defense over there. Then stolen back, a little back and forth. Here comes a defender up to put it back in play with a through ball. Allison's got to come out. As Persado was Bearing down on it. Benton. That one chipped ahead by Dubrock. Barrios pushes it off to the left side. And Delaney Sheehan will throw in. And we have a push. No call. Play on. And they're doing it. Referee kind of jammed up in the middle of that. That one will go out of bounds. It'll be a throw in to Mandeville. Elaine Burbank will throw in on the left sideline here. That one off of... Sheehan out of bounds, and there'll be a throw in. Both teams right now, early in this game, trying to feel each other out, and you they kind of it kind of involves where you're trying to find your spacing, and often enough it 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 doesn't go to your person until you're until you get that spacing down. So it's a little back and forth. This is Sheehan on the left side, pushes up. And it goes out of bounds. Sheehan, yes, she's a goal scorer. But like Coach Esker says, she's the creator. She's the one that's going to set everything up. Whether it's her goal or somebody else's, she's going to be the one. That one goes out. So there'll be a throw in. Janie Ledford running it down here on the sideline. She'll be bringing it back in to throw in. For the Lady Bulldogs, Baton Rouge High. She drops it off. Megan Guillory will get the honors of a throw in. That one in between people going to be go out of bounds. Throw in. Smith tries to chip it into the middle. For Presedo, and it's kicked out of bounds. Baton Rouge trying to put the pressure on early. There'll be a throw in by Ledford. This one cleared out off of a, a Lady Bulldog, so there'll be a throw in to Mandeville. Hannah Benton will throw in. Sheehan trying to get it up the field. That one cut off nicely by Ashford. Up the right side. Mandeville trying to control, but that one goes out of bounds. 
There'll be a throw in on that sideline. Sheehan trying to kick it up the field. That one run down by the defenders, by one of the defenders. Left sideline trying to keep it alive. Presedo chipping it ahead, turned back by the defender, and that one goes out of bounds. That one kept alive. Looked like it was going out of bounds. Dubrock goes out of bounds. Michaela Dubrock, the sophomore defender. This one's thrown in and controlled by Baton Rouge. Push it across the field. And nice steal right there. Counterattack coming. Mia Dubrock left side. Defender comes over. Is Guillory and kicks it out of bounds quickly. Burbank to throw in. Guillory battling down there. That one's going to go out of bounds. So quickly sensing that uh, Baton Rouge had the ball and was trying to make something da happen down here on the right. Uh, a counterattack from Mandeville has it all the way down here and a throw in. There's a shot that's going to go past on the left. That one really didn't scare the goal, but it, uh, it was out there for a reason. Let um, Rachel Bourgeois know that they're going to try to put it out there. And throw in, which as a senior sh and 18 shutout, she already knows what she needs to do. Barrios up the right sideline, and it goes out of bounds. There'll be a throw in. Sheehan has the ball and will throw in. For Barrios, that's too much. Headed out of there by a defender. And that one cleared further out. Stolen. Got to stay on side. Good through ball. Smith coming on for it. And that one kicked away. Whistle. And a throw in to Baton Rouge. So Baton Rouge shows they've got a little counterattack themselves as they try to put it in the area. Ledford going to run it down here, try to stop it. And it goes across the line. So Allison, both teams exhibiting good passing skills in, uh, in their counterattacks. Allison. Missy Ross tries to run that one down, cannot do it. Megan Guillory, a junior for Coach Ashe's team, will throw in. 21-3-3 three and three on the year for the Lady Bulldogs. So, obviously, they didn't get here by accident. They are the nine seed. It's nine seed versus the eight seed. A dangerous ball out there that... Carly Allison charges and gets control of. Baton Rouge putting the, putting the pressure on early. Dubrock, Mia Dubrock, trying to go right side, and the defense gets it back right away. Kennedy Smith making a move. Smith making a run between defenders. Allison comes out and kicks it away. So a really nice through ball right there that Kennedy Smith got to her foot and tried to make a play. Ross cannot save that one. Throw in Guillory. 
Persado. Excuse me, Ledford. This is Persado. For Smith, stolen, and then stolen back. This one's going to roll out of bounds. Throw in to Mandeville. Dangerous one right there between some black jerseys. And Delaney Sheehan said, let's get this ball out of here and clear it down, see if Barrios can get there. And that one's totally cleared out of the zone by Daigle. Throw in quickly. Barrios, right side. Ball off the post. Wow. That was close. And this one cleared, no, momentarily tried to clear it out. And Mandeville trying to keep the pressure on. Burbank pushing it ahead. Some defenders coming on. Hey, let's get it out of bounds, as Baton Rouge thought right here. Lady Bulldogs saying, wow. A fortuitous bounce off the post for the Lady Bulldogs right there. And these scoring chances are coming, uh, and these positionings are coming on the counterattacks. It's both teams have put together some really nice passes to set something up, but we have no score 13 minutes into the first half. This one dropped back, Ross centering pass, head, and that goes over. Bourgeois not really tested that time as, as that header floated up over the, the uh, goal post. I mean the crossbar, excuse me, actually above the football crossbar. Good control there by Odenwall, but stolen quickly by Mandeville. Dubrock up the left side line for Burbank as she's pushed the up in the attack, loose ball in the middle, Bourgeois comes out. Rachel Bourgeois, heads up play right there, coming out of the goal, not waiting to see what developed. Let me come out here and take things into my own hands. And she booms it to midfield, one bounce. And Presedo heading it up for Smith, and the speedy Smith trying to gather up. Back for Presedo. And Mandeville steals. Ross trying to get in the middle. We got offsides. I saw that. I agree. Man, did I just say that? I agree with you. Okay. Agree with the official. Yes, it was offsides. Barrios had a step right there when that just before contact on that ball. So it'll be a free kick to Megan Guillory. Again, another example of both teams counterattacking. That one goes off the shoulder, out of bounds. And eventually out of bounds, I should say. Guillory again with the throw in. Long throw in Smith, that bounces off the defender Burbank, I believe, it goes out. Still a throw in to Baton Rouge. Everybody will push up. Uh, about 10 yards, Guillory will throw in. Mandeville with eight back there on defense. Definitely trying to um, keep the Lady Bulldogs at bay. This one into the middle. That ball chipped ahead for Presedo. She drops it back. There's a shot from distance. That really didn't scare uh, the goal. Kayla Ashford got that one off, but Allison really wasn't tested. And we have our first substitutions of the game as this game has been up and down the field early with teams just, um, just running it out one way or the other. Barrios. That one's stolen. There's a big through ball, but no white jerseys down there. That one's going to go out of bounds. So throw in to Baton Rouge.
Sheehan with a header. That one taken back. Sheehan steals it there. And we have a whistle and a foul. So Delaney Sheehan will take a free kick. This one looks like it's about the 25 yard line or inside of that. Look for her to take a shot from there. She's got the leg. Right for the goal. That one headed out by a defender. And then again, back in and then back out. Presedo, a defense again for Mandeville. Ah, here's a, here's a through ball that played off of Smith from Benton. Benton controls, then stolen back again. Sheehan with three defenders on her, trying to get through. She does get a pass off to the right. McCarron, the freshman, sends it up the right side. It's going to go out of bounds. Here's the throw in by Baton Rouge. Sheehan gets it. There it is. She's putting it in the box. And good defense by a Baton Rouge defender there to get in the way of the on-charging Isabel Barrios. Bourgeois punts it a mile, it seems like. She gets it way past midfield. This one settled in by Ledford. Back into the middle. Presedo. Dubrock fans on that one. This one back into the middle. Ledford, little give and go. Going into the middle for Presedo. Good defense by Scallon. This ball, though, up the left sideline. Madeline Bourgeois trying to run it down. Centers it. Presedo from distance. Blocked by one of the defenders. This ball, that's going to be an offsides as uh, Bourgeois, as the play came back, the ball came back. Bourgeois never did come back, so offsides. Man, if you, I know there's no scoring, but if you're looking for action, this game has provided it early. Halfway through the first quarter, no score. Both teams trying to prevent, uh, uh, present themselves with um, opportunities and defense has been the key by both sides. Persado chipping it ahead. That one headed back out. Barrios. Through ball. An on Russian Wegman cannot get to it. And that ball goes out of bounds over there. I don't have a bead on the number of that defender for Baton Rouge. She's done a good job the last couple of trips. When I get a number, I'll be able to call her out for you. It's number 10, Emily Segura. This one deep, Segura on a chase with uh, Barrios. Segura gets there and kicks wisely, kicks it out under the pressure. So it'll be a throw in to Mandeville. This one into the middle. Wegman can't control. And that one cleared out by Segura. Move up the left sideline. A big long chip. Carly Allison comes out to the uh, edge of the, the box right there where she punt, catches it and punches it away. That one taken out of the air by Ledford. And that ball goes out of bounds. Dubrock. Mia Dubrock kicking it out. No shortage of young players out. Freshmen on both sides. Dubrock, uh, Presedo, Smith. Uh, McCarron, there's no shortage. You know, after a 20, 24 game season, the heck, they're sophomores anyway. You know, yeah, they're freshmen listed, but they've got a year under their belt of high school soccer. So, in, in my favorite words, play on. 
Daigle chips it ahead. Presedo dropping it back for Ashford. That one turned back itself. So a little back and forth. Again, as they're trying to establish a little um, spacing, there's a lot of back and forth in, in the game. Presedo, cross field for Ledford. Can't get a foot on it, gonna be run down. At, and Dubrock will let it run out of bounds. This one dropped back and then cleared out of the zone. Wegman trying to make a run on it, cut off by Guillory. And then that one was cut off. That one goes out of bounds on that sideline. Nice save over there by Bourgeois. McCarran battling freshman on freshman down there. McCarran against Presedo. McCarran wins that battle. There'll be a free kick after a foul call. We're 23 minutes into the first half of this regional matchup, Baton Rouge. Hi, the Lady Bulldogs with an uh, outstanding record. A ninth seed are in here to play the Mandeville Lady Skippers with uh, the eighth seed and an outstanding record themselves. So it's two, two big time teams playing in a big time game. I know it's only the second round, but an eight versus nine seed is um, in the round of 16. We got a timeout for an injury. Uh, there'll be a throw in. Scallon knocks that one up the field. Wegman trying to head it up and a little back and forth again. That was Segura and that's Benton with a big kick. Trying to put that pressure back there. Dubrock putting it back in the zone. That one headed out. Guillory momentarily, and now that one's gonna go out. Quick throw in by Benton. Whistle, so we're gonna have a free kick. Delaney Sheehan will be in to take the free kick. This one at about the 29. Again, look for her to put it right in toward the goal. She's got the leg from here. She deep on a curl, headed back out by a defender. Again, a good job defensively by the Lady Bulldogs. Wegman out and coach Esker substituting again, trying to get some fresh legs as it's been kind of a, a track meet here early. First half, well it's not early in the first half, but three quarters of the way through the first half, it's been, it has been a track meet. Up and down, both teams trying to take advantage of a counter attack. In very few situations where people are standing around like right here. Throw in by Michaela Dubrock. And that one goes out, They'll, she'll redo. Dubrock with the throw in. Sheehan, centering pass. That one comes back out of the box. And then they try to get it back in, defender on it. A little back and forth. Sheehan settles, shot coming, go! You cannot give Delaney Sheehan that much room for her to gather it in, set it up. And that was part of that back and forth, and that one was put up over towards her. You know, again, I don't know who made the pass, but 
it came quickly to her. The defender was out of position. And let me tell you something, Sheehan made her pay. Bourgeois, as good as she is, was flat-footed. Hard for her to be able to, uh, to react to that. This one chipped ahead. Barrio's going to play it. That one goes out of bounds. Throw in to Mandeville. Baton Rouge with the throw in. And it'll turn over and it'll be Mandeville. This one chipped ahead. Perseto trying to gather good defense over there by McCarran. Baton Rouge folks calling for a foul. Not sure they're not right right there. And a tumble on the sideline. Throw in to Baton Rouge. This one in toward the middle, taken out by one of the defenders. Sheehan pushes it left side. That one up the and then stolen. And this one deep ball played back by the defender. And that's going to go out of bounds. There'll be a throw in to Baton Rouge. Nice steal by Sheehan. She's looking to make something happen. Dubrock, turn and fire. Barrios, right there. That one up ahead, nobody there. Bourgeois, comes, rightly so, comes out of the box to scoop it up. Barrios. Drawing a defender, trying to drop it off on the right side. Does so. Back to her. A little give and go. Ball still in play up that right sideline. Centering pass. Bourgeois all over it with Dubrock bearing down. So Bourgeois will punt it away. She booms it. I like that leg. Daigle trying to chip it ahead. This one right side, Ledford cannot get to it. Janie Ledford trying to, but unable to just get to some balls here in the first half. And that's a push by Ledford. So that result in a kick as Cacho hits the dirt, gets up, no problem. So Hannah Benton will take the free kick. Benton, a junior defender for Coach Esker's squad. Nice ball right there, kept alive by Dubrock, but stolen, then stolen back. Through ball, Dubrock trying to make it up the right side, making a run. But that one goes out of bounds. Baton Rouge will throw it in. Baton Rouge controlling, trying to get it up. There's Presedo trying to make a move up the right sideline. McCarran battling with her. 
This one chipped up and then knocked out of bounds off of Morgan Kleiss. Eight minutes to go in the first half. 1-0 lead for the Lady Skippers in a game that has been uh, pretty much like a track meet up and down the field. This one up in the zone. Allison smartly comes out and plays it early before Kennedy Smith can get a beat on it. Allison punts it away. That's Carly Allison. That one controlled up the right sideline. It's going to go out of bounds and a throw in to Baton Rouge. We're going to have a substitute from Coach Ashe. Ledford's going to get a little bit of a break. Throw in up the right sideline. Baton Rouge getting it, trying to chip it ahead for Smith. This is a good ball right here. Persado. Persado and Smith kind of ran into each other, and the defenders did enough to kind of keep them off of uh, off of the uh, out of the area for any scoring. Madeline Bourgeois up the left sideline for Persado, and that is going to be a throw in to Baton Rouge. This one kicked into the zone right now. Kicked into the zone close to being a, I would call that a shot that Allison got on one hop and bo booms it down the other way. That one goes off of Spicer, Taylor Spicer out of bounds. Excuse me, that was Madeline Bush out of bounds. As I misread that number, six for eight. It was it, That was six, not eight. Throw in to Hannah Benton. And this ball is a high fly ball, the center field. It's going to be played out of that, a little back and forth right now. We've had our moments of that. Goes out, throw in to Baton Rouge. Madeline Bush will throw in for Baton Rouge. Loose ball in the field, knocked ahead by McCarron. Still alive, Persado trying to turn it, she does. Space, puts it up the left side. On rusher, takes a shot. Carly Allison. Mandeville had a, did a good job of getting six back on defense against three. The numbers favored uh, Mandeville as uh, Baton Rouge unable to push up some more people in the attack. And I know they're trying to play some uh, defense because they don't want to give any, uh, obviously don't want to give any breakaways, uh, counterattacks here. Uh, Guillory, throw in. Gilly will get another chance. That one headed out. This one up the sideline. It's going to go off of Kennedy Smith in a throw in. Bent. Sheehan unable to control. A whistle. And they're going to redo the throw in. Oh, we got to move further back is what's going to go on. So Hannah Benton gets another chance. Smith with a nice steal. Presedo, that ball just inches away from her foot. Good defense by Scallon. But Baton Rouge gets it back, trying to keep the pressure on. Ahead, Scallon knocks it down. Burbank. And these teams... 
pretty well skilled defenders able to make steals and try to start something going back the other way. Ball up the right sideline that's going to go out of bounds. We're down to three minutes in the first half. Mandeville got a goal from Delaney Sheehan, her 201st high school goal at, here at Mandeville, which is just phenomenal. And, uh, and she made a pretty darn good move, an outside, inside move to get that goal. And... Um, that's where we're sitting right now. I got to say, though, Baton Rouge has been putting the pressure on the Mandeville defense, but they have been up for the test all the way around. This one's going to be kicked out of bounds. And there'll be a throw in to Mandeville. That one is going to trickle out, out of bounds. There'll be a goal kick as a result of it. We're down now at the two-minute mark, which means there's two minutes plus some extra time in the, in the half. That amount is deemed by the referee. Mandeville trying to make a move up here on the right side. Centering pass or shot, whatever you want to call it, trickles over the goal. That one went right across the front of the goal mouth. It was a little high, but nobody there. So there'll be a throw in. That one out, then back in. So it'll be another throw in. Michaela Dubrock will take it. For Mandeville, for Sheehan, knocked out of there. Uh-oh, that's a steal. Here's Ross. Trying to make a move, good defense there. Kennedy Smith about to play it off to the right, hoping to find Madeline Bush, but just a tad bit off on that pass. One minute. Michaela Dubrock throwing in. That went up the sideline and that'll result in a throw in to Baton Rouge. Ball up the middle. Smith trying to make a run. Defender's going to kick it out of bounds or try to turn it up. Did. Stolen by Bush. Into the middle for Presedo. And Benton comes over and plays it nicely defensively by kicking it out of bounds. Smart move. Sheehan's going to drop all the way back in the zone. Mandeville with eight defenders back there for and just five offensive players. That one goes by Presedo, chipped ahead. A whistle and a foul call. The visitors wanted a foul, they got a foul. So now we have a free kick that's been backed up. Free kick from about 15 yards out. Got to think Kayla Ashford's going to take a shot at it from there. Here it comes, a little high and wide. Ashford off the mark on that, pen, uh, that shot, that free kick, excuse me. Carly Allison, the senior, will take the goal kick. And that ends the first half. 
The Lady Skippers will go to the locker room leading 1-0 in a tightly contested match with the Baton Rouge Lady Bulldogs. It's the regional round of the Division I LHSAA State Playoffs. Dubrock to Sheehan to start the second half. That one's going to be stolen and then stolen back by Sheehan on a run. Pushing it up, up the left side. Here comes the centering pass. Sheehan up in the middle and it's cleared out by the defense of Baton Rouge. Good job there by them. Man, pressure early by the Lady Skippers. Got to think Coach Esker said, went in at halftime, said we're not putting enough pressure on them. We need to put the pressure on them because they, uh, Baton Rouge, both teams played a really good, solid first half. Not a lot of real serious goal chances, but the one that Sheehan had was excellent. That's a quick in. Now Sheehan has the run. She goes far post. They went with the quick corner kick that time with the opportunity to let Sheehan create. She was, uh, she went back, uh, back post on the kick and it went out of bounds. And Rachel Bourgeois not really put under pressure that on that shot, excuse me. As I'm trying to make out the numbers here. Michaela Dubrock to throw in. That one dropped back. Sheehan trying to get to it. And it ends up being a ends up being a corner kick. The visiting. The visiting fans from Baton Rouge High not in agreement. Barrios will take the corner kick off this set piece. She goes back um, post two, but that one's going to go off the defender, out of bounds. Throw in real quick, coming up. Sheehan gets it, tries to drop it back. Kicked out by somebody else. So throw in, Sheehan will do the honors. Dubrock. Sheehan trying to control, but too, too many defenders right there. A little give and go, long run up the sideline. Not going to take place as that one goes out of bounds. That one chipped into the middle and headed back out. Big ball from far out that goes over the, over into the stands there. And Bourgeois will take the goal kick. If you're just joining us, it's 1-0. We've just started the second half here. Baton Rouge Lady Bulldogs taking on the Mandeville Lady Skippers. That ball, Bourgeois scoops up after a couple of bounces and will punt it away. Bourgeois has already proven she's got a strong leg. This one's gonna hit past midfield. And that ball, Persado dumps it into the middle. And we got a whistle. Ooh, don't know what that call was, but uh, the visitors didn't like it for sure. Headed back out there. Bourgeois trying to chip it up. Bourgeois knocked off by Scallon. And then back. Dubrock thinks, you know what? We better kick it out of bounds here and kind of regroup. We're gonna get caught in, a, in any kind of a problem. So Madeline Bourgeois will throw in for Kennedy Smith. Bourgeois controls, a little give and go with Presedo. Drops it back for Presedo. She's gonna look right handed, then back left, then back right, shot coming! Carly Allison, that went right to her. But that, I, I think that's the strongest and, and uh, the strongest um, shot thus far in the game for Baton Rouge. And it was very similar. Here's, here's uh, Presedo. 
again. And that, that was a very similar, in almost the same spot that Sheehan got her goal, a similar look to it, a, a, a left, right, right, left type of move and an opening, but uh, the freshman could not find the net. This one up the sideline, Mia Dubrock trying to run it down. And a nice sliding tackle over there by the defender. Mia Dubrock to throw in. Dubrock trying to center. And the fans disliking something. Bush stolen. Dubrock from distance. Go! Mia Dubrock from distance gets it by Rachel Bourgeois. So a, a senior, now a freshman, has put the Lady Skippers up 2-0. Smith and Presedo will kick it off as they trail. This one coming up the right sideline gets stolen right away, then knocked back and back again. Here is Sheehan, three on three. Trying to create, drops it into the middle, and that one's gonna be kind of turned up by Segura. Sheehan's got control. Michaela Dubrock. This one, ooh, that's a foul. Yep. Whistle right there. Bourgeois will take the free kick. Stolen. Up ahead for Barrios. That one comes off her foot. And then stolen back. Sheehan, left side, brings it back. Puts one, back post. And on rushing, Lady Skipper could not get to that one. That would be Michaela Dubrock. And Bourgeois will take the goal kick. Dubrock heads it out of bounds. There'll be a throw in to Baton Rouge. First half, both teams with a lot of counterattacking. Uh, Sheehan was the only one to really settle in and get a good shot. It ends up being a goal. This is Sheehan again. Push up for Barrios. She goes for the shot. And that one trickles by. Isabel Barrios wasted no time in pulling that trigger. Trying to catch Rachel Bourgeois off balance. But that one goes past Bourgeois, out of bounds, goal kick. Sheehan. That one's kept alive. Baton Rouge. Persado goes cross. And Michaela Dubrock had dropped back and picked that one off. This one chipped up the right sideline. And that one's still alive. Dubrock ahead. Quick throw in from Mia Dubrock. Gonna bring it back, kinda get it through, no. That one goes off the defender. That goes off of Scalzo out of bounds. Lindsey Scalzo. So 
So Scalzo will throw in. Ten minutes into the second half, it's 2-0. A goal by Mia Dubrock in this half made it 2-0 after Sheehan had put the Lady Skippers up 1-0 in the first half. Steal by Barrios, through ball. Bourgeois comes out to scoop it up. And no threat that time. Good play by Bourgeois. Kennedy Smith. The Bulldogs going to get it in quick here. That one for Smith up the sideline. Nice pass. That one's going to go out of bounds. There'll be a throw in there. So good opportunity right here by Baton Rouge to try to get one of those two goals back. Throw in. This one's going to come right across. On one short hop to Carly Allison. And she's going to punt it away. Daigle puts it down there. Kennedy Smith on rushing, cannot get to it. That one goes out of bounds. They're going to say off of Smith. So it'll be a throw in to Mandeville. Steal by Madeline Bourgeois. This one going cross field and being chipped into the middle. Defensively, that's Scallon going to kick it out of bounds. Rachel Scallon. While the offense has made the most of its opportunities, the defense has been pretty stout. Only really giving up one uh, real attempt. And uh, Allison was able to pull that one in. Through ball on the right side for Presedo. That one's going to be kicked out of bounds. Take no chances. Let's regroup, says Rachel Scallon as she puts that one outside. Throw in to Baton Rouge. Kennedy Smith dropping it back. Loose ball on the sideline right there. Kept alive, it looks like. Going to be run down and saved. So here comes a shot from distance. Allison, Carly Allison. No problemo right there. Burbank. Loose ball. Kind of flips out of there. Presedo leaves it up. Through ball for Smith, too much. Baton Rouge has just been a tad bit off the mark on some passes, trying to get him to Kennedy Smith. This ball ahead and going to be run down by Barrios. Isabel Barrios for Dubrock. Bourgeois comes out, says, I got it, and calls off Scalzo. Bourgeois will take the kick. Nice punt that hits near midfield. Baton Rouge. There's another through ball. Scallon going to run it down and turn it up. But then that's knocked back in the zone. That one knocked down by Ashford. This one dropped back. Through ball on the right side. Long run, trying to keep it alive. And Mandeville controls. Then stolen, here comes a shot. Hits up at the top. Laurel, Lauren Odenwall with that shot. Two serious shots in this game. That was one of them. Another by
by the freshman, Natalie Presedo. But uh, Baton Rouge has nothing as a result of those. Barrios. Steele. Madeline Bourgeois trying to get ahead. Smith. Again, defense swarming. Smith over there. This one headed up by Bourgeois. And then you know what? Defenders say, let's get it out of bounds now. We know anything, anything, any trouble here. So Kennedy Smith will throw in. I think there's going to be a substitution. We got a hold up for some reason. We do have a substitute. Throw in. little back and forth right here. We've had um, small amounts of times when the ball have just gone back and forth, back and forth, until someone's been able to settle it and begin an attack. Brasado has it chipped away and then back in. Smith trying to run on it. She has not had any success on that so far. Sheehan with the steal on the throw in, making a long run. Puts a ball up the sideline for Dubrock. The defender's going to come over and kick it out of bounds. Live to play it another day is sometimes the model of uh, the motto of a defender. Let's kick it out of bounds. Let's get some drop some people back on defense and regroup. Throw in to Mandeville. This one ends up in the middle of the field. Drop back, controlled, pushing out to the right side. Nice pass into the middle for Missy Ross, but she was unable to settle it, and Baton Rouge steals. Throw in now to Baton Rouge. The Lady Bulldogs. The number nine seed trailing right now, 2-0. Mandeville dropping back a lot of people on defense. Ashford trying to put a uh, through ball up on the right side, kicks it out of bounds. It's been a really well contested game on both sides. And Mandeville has been able to make the best of their opportunities. Uh, Baton Rouge, not so lucky so far. Presedo heading it back. This one chipped ahead. Smith trying to make a run. And a defender over there. It'll end up being a corner kick. Well, here's an opportunity right here for a set piece. Kayla Ashford will take the corner kick. She goes way across the field on that one. She was going back post a little bit too much. That adrenaline really flowing for Ashford. Carly Allison will play it from here.
Crusado trying to chip it back. A little bit too much on it. Back and forth, Sheehan trying to get it up. Nice pass into the middle. Presedo can't get it going. This one chipped in here on running player from Baton Rouge, not offsides. That one back. Presedo. Ashford unable to get there. Visiting fans unhappy with with that call. Ball, nobody can get to. Al Carly Allison comes out and plays it nicely. This one up the right sideline. That's going to be out of bounds. Dubrock. The last um, good a bit of time, maybe 10 minutes now, has been controlled by um, has been controlled by Baton Rouge and they've been trying to keep the pressure which they have been on the Lady Skippers who have the 2-0 lead. They've just not been able to put something on goal. Something solid, let's put it that way. That one taken off. And back and forth right now. Persado knocked off of that one. It's going to go out of bounds. Substitution coming from Coach Ashe. Throw in. Through ball, making a run. Out comes Bourgeois. Good play by her to clear it out of there as Dubrock was bearing down on that one. This one up the left sideline. That one's going to go out of bounds. Defense again making a stop. Bourgeois to throw in.
Dubrock trying to turn it up that sideline. That one's going to trickle out of bounds. Second throw in. Presedo to the middle. A little back and forth. There's really nobody there. Allison comes out and plays it. That one goes right in the middle. Controlled ahead. Rhodes momentarily had a foot on it. Madeline Bourgeois. And we have a whistle and a foul. Free kick now coming from Madeline Bourgeois. Into the middle, loose ball, and that one goes out. It'll end up being a corner kick. So here's another opportunity set piece for the Lady Bulldogs. Ashford to take this one. As everybody in that area, that one, wow, right in there, knocked over. So we'll have a redo. Kick, high fly that goes over in the back. And long ball there. Going to be run down by Segura with Dubrock on her. Segura trying to turn it back up the sideline. And that goes out of bounds. Mandeville trying to mount the old counterattack right there. Loose ball up the left sideline. So as a result of that ball, we're going to have a corner kick and an opportunity for Mandeville on a set piece. Mia Dubrock is Jogging over there to take that corner kick. Clock says 11.26 to go in this one. 2-0, Mandeville over Baton Rouge. The winner will take on SSA. The number one seed, this one, high fly ball that Michaela Dubrock can't get to. Here comes a charge from Burbank, unable though to control that. Big ball right there, cleared out the zone. Rhodes unable to control, loose ball, Segura. Clearing out momentarily. Presedo pushes it right side. Brought back in, control. And that one off the defender. Bur I was going to say Burbank, but I think it's McCarran. Hard to tell.
That one up for Rhodes. Rhodes sends the ball up the field. And Carly Allison wisely comes way out of the goal to pick that one up. This one's going to go out of bounds. There's a ball right through. Right in front of the goal right there that hit off of a Baton Rouge player. 8.47 to go in this one. Mandeville up 2-0 with Mia Dubrock about to take a corner kick. So another set piece. This one in the air. Loose, loose ball kicked out of there and then popped up to the right side. Dubrock trying to play it, pushes it right, trying to center it. It'll be another corner kick. Good play there. Here it is, header! Wow. It appeared that uh, Sheehan got a header on it, a head on it, but it went straight down and trickled off to the right. Defense had no problem with it. Perseido gonna run it down now, but runs into Scallon. Scallon's been pretty darn good tonight and shut down that play. Throw in Mandeville. 7.40 to go in this one. Delaney Sheehan, who had, in the first had her, half had her 201st goal in her high school playing career. We've been fortunate in the prep zone to catch a few of those beauties, like the one this evening, which uh, pretty textbook play. Dubrock, throw in. Too much on that one. That'll end up being a goal kick, I believe. The number eight and nine seed colliding here at Sid Terrio Stadium. Loose ball. Ashford trying to clear it out. She'll get a second chance. That goes off of Barrios. Segura into the middle. Rhodes doesn't get anything on that. Barrios coming back, and that one still a lot. Baton Rouge trying to play it up the right side, and he just keeps coming back. Loose ball. Sheehan from McCarran. Backing up, trying to make some space, and we have a whistle. There a little nudge right there at the end of that play. Sheehan was backing up, trying to create a little space, trying to make a little move, get herself in position. So she'll get a um, she'll get a free kick on the foul. So they'll be told to back up to 10 yards, and Sheehan is out about the 22-yard line. This is surely within her distance. And uh, Coach Esker is letting her know, giving her the signal, what to do. The way he pointed, it was like, ah, go ahead, throw it down in the goal. Which she does. Bourgeois has to come out. There's some slippage and she knocks it out of bounds. I think my uh, normally when we are when we have one game, my compadre Rhett Sharp, who is the a proponent of putting shots on goal even from distance, uh, he would have totally agreed with that play. As it turns out, the ball was knocked out of bounds, and there's going to be a uh, corner kick. So another set piece here for the Lady Skippers, Isabel. Barrios will take it. More importantly, 
There's 440 to go in this. And with every second, ooh, back heel flip, Bourgeois up for that. Rachel Bourgeois snuffs out that attempt. Good play by her. And she booms it. Kennedy Smith had a little uh, break from for Coach Ashe. Now she's back in the game. And the last few minutes has been all about the control of the, the Lady Skippers. The last three or four minutes prior to that, there was a good amount of time where Baton Rouge controlled, but ne only had a couple of um, shots on goal, but nothing serious enough to test Carly Allison. 3.40 to go. Both teams have seniors, although I would say Baton Rouge has more, it appears to have more than uh, Mandeville. And for them, for both, both on both sides, it, it, you're a senior. If you lose, it's your last game. That's it. You'll never play high school soccer again. So... These waning seconds, the seniors on both sides are going to be pushing hard to continue. Mandeville, of course, has the, the lead and really the advantage at this point as time is, is just flittering away for Baton Rouge. A well-played game here, I must say. Not a lot of fouls. Um, both teams in the first half had a lot of counterattacks, not a lot of shots, but uh, Delaney Sheehan made the best of one of them and got it down and uh, got that one nil lead going in the half. And Mia Dubrock struck in the second half. And uh, since then, Baton Rouge has control most of the offensive tempo, uh, save the last couple of minutes. This one cleared up for Sato, trying to leave it for one of her defenders to come up and cannot get there. Long throw in that's just whacked down to the other end. Bourgeois comes out. It's, a, it's, a, it's like running time off the clock. Just kick it back in the zone and make them have to play it. As time's running down on Baton Rouge. We're at two minutes. In fact, we're under two minutes now. So there's going to be stoppage time. There's a foul. So Baton Rouge will get a free kick. That one kicked up and then a defender again. That's how it's been all night for Baton Rouge. That kind of stone wall by the, by the Lady Skippers. Wow, that one ended up. That was a good call. That one ended up coming off of Daigle out of bounds. Visiting fans didn't agree. Barrios to throw in. Throw in by Baton Rouge. That one goes out of bounds off of Madeline Bourgeois. Isabel Barrios to throw in. Coach Esker is just having a couple of players up, dropped everybody back on defense, just trying to kill the clock if you can with two or three people.
That one kicked up the field, and that's going to go out of bounds. Mia Dubrock, who has one of the two goals, along with Delaney Sheehan, will throw in. That one headed out by Bourgeois. Like I said, the winner, which appears to be, hey, appears that it's going to be Mandeville, will get to play SSA in the quarterfinal round. This kick crossed the field. Bush is trying to run it down and get it up the field. And once again, all they're doing is just kick it down, and that'll end it. A regional round win for the Mandeville Lady Skippers, 2-0 over the Baton Rouge Lady Bulldogs. We have to send our thank yous out to the people that brought you this game, starting with our superintendent, Mr. Trey Fultz, our director of broadcasting, Dr. Melody Swang. On camera tonight, kind of doing this on the side because he's normally the weatherman for Channel 13. Kevin K. Mum Mumphrey. This is Charles Tiger Edwards. Good night. God bless. You be good. You are now leaving the prep zone. <laughs>